Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Salty Magic the Gathering Pros, in particular Eric Froelich, but you can replace it with any of the NPL members. Uh, they're very salty because they're not doing very well. Eric Froelich finished 0-5. and five. Let me repeat that. He lost five games in a row on MTG Arena. And he's being paid, he's being paid quite a bit of money to promote MTG Arena and Magic in general. I have never seen a scenario where somebody's been paid two hundred thousand dollars, seventy thousand base, and then the ability to win a hundred thousand dollars four times a year, and treat the sponsor as poorly as Eric has. And this will be why Wizard of the Coast is getting rid of the MPL. Um, you cannot afford to pay people an average three hundred thousand dollars just for them to talk bad about you and your format. Um, there's been no support, and he's rallied the troops against Wizards of the Coast. Now, Oko is really annoying because there's no way to deal with him. The removal specifically for Oko does not hit 6. It hits 5, but does not hit 6, which is troublesome, right? And turn 1 Goose into Oko is like, okay, what am I going to do now? Uh, I play Red Deck Wins, and there are, I mean, on the... On the play, I can probably kill Oko, but on the draw, I'm kind of screwed. But, so you have Jessica Epstein, who is being a good and loyal MPL member, because he's not actually that great at Magic. So, we have kind of a divide, and there's people who still want to stay in the MPL, and then there's people who, like Eric, have determined that they're not going to keep him based on his poor performance. And he has performed very poorly um own five is not new to eric but it would be new imagine eric in a magic fest going oh and five it would never happen right because he would drop either before or he would call a judge or he would cheat one of these scenarios have played out and when you talk about the pro scene you know i feel bad for sam black people like sam black he dedicated his whole life to magic I would say he's more dedicated than even Eric Froelich. He wasn't one of these chosen few of 32 or even the then 68 special invites. So he gets no money. Did you know Emma, based on you know getting people banned, uh, got money from these? the last place person in the Mythic Championship gets 7500 so if you get invited based on your politics or based on you getting a lot of other Magic players banned, all that good stuff for the community, uh, you'll get at least 7,500 with the chance to win 100,000. And really, it's a lottery system, right? If you're telling me the best Magic pros and Eric Froelich was chosen because he was considered one of the best Magic pros, that's why he's part of the NPL. It's definitely not because of his uh, uh, happy demeanor, let's put it that way, or love for Magic. Um, he's been incredibly critical because he's done very poorly at these events. He cannot break even against a field of wedges, the mana sources. Like, it shows you the true nature. And then, because he can't break even, he wants to invite the top X players. Again, I mean, isn't that the whole point of the MPL? On, who streamed the entire event on 10-minute delay and didn't queue on the record um okay so why does he want a delay league of legends hearthstone none of these esports have a delay right imagine watching the world series or watching go astros uh, right now and on a 10 minute delay that would defeat the whole purpose of esports which is supposed to be live regardless eric froelich is kind of this uh whiny little person or i guess big person who is being paid two hundred thousand plus dollars, and all he does is talk bad about Magic: The Gathering and MTG Arena. He has nothing positive to say. Uh, he always just—I mean, what do you have positive to say when you finish own five and you're supposedly one of the best Magic players in paper, but you cannot, for the life of you, buy a win? I mean, when you own five and then you win two games in a row, which Eric is very proud of, you realize you're playing literally the worst players in that tournament. Like, if you own five, you're now at the very bottom of the rankings. 
I mean, at that point, you're not even playing wedge. You're playing like, like a straw man at that point. <laughs> it's so bad. So he says, um, Magic is the greatest game in history of games. It's sad seeing people not enjoying it. I hope that changes soon. Seeing countless posts frustrated. So he's giving a platform. Obviously, people are upset about Oko and they're complaining. But what I would not expect is if somebody was paid $200,000, $300,000 to then go ahead and kind of add to the flames. Again, like imagine if we're Red Bull and we pay someone $300,000. And all they talked bad, and all they could say was Red Bull sucks, drink Monster. <laughs> like, what would we do in this case? So, okay, this is how good Eric Froelich is in Magic. Are you ready for this? This is coming from Eric Froelich, of all things. After starting 0-5, I pulled out the last two. Are you effing kidding me? You're supposed to be one of the best Magic players. 68 effers. And 36 of them can't even, like, play Magic. And you telling me all you are doing is playing Magic for 8 to 10 hours a day. Because that's what you're paid to do, right? Stream Magic for 8 to 10 hours a day, like Owen. And you cannot even beat, like, Wedge Jr. Cheeseburger type of players? Like, what's going on here? Like, how do you go Owen 5? How do you lose five games in a row? In MT I don't can't even do that on MTG Arena. Like, even if I tried, I couldn't do it. <laughs> it's astounding. This includes a mo to five on the draw versus turn two Oka. Yeah, that's what Magic Arena is. It's random. I know if you're cheating and stacking your deck, you never have to mo to five. But sometimes you have to mo to five, right? Mo to five is not even that unusual. You go from 7 to 6 and then to 5. And oh, sometimes you don't get land that you need in your hand. Sometimes you don't, Sometimes your hand has no land in it, right? I know it's hard for a pro in Paper Magic to understand this scenario. Sometimes your, left, your hand has all land in one card and your red deck wins. It happens to you and it happens to someone else. I mowed a ton for half the split. I miss my turn two land drop more often than my opponent missed their turn two planeswalker. That stuff. Oh my gosh. It's almost like you're playing magic fairly. Like, I don't understand. Like, how... Isn't this how most people play magic? Like, don't... Okay. I play magic since a long time. For 20 years since beta came out. You do have to mow, right? There are... I mean, it's common. I don't understand. Like, do, do pros not expect to have to mulligan? Like, is every hand, like, perfect for them all the time? Uh, I went on a 15-match win streak on ladder with MG. Oh, geez, Emma. I made a few changes. I was pretty happy with the seven. Okay, so... Even if this was true, and he won 15 games in a row on the ladder... Where did he start from? <laughs> like bottom? Like when people were just quitting the game so they could go, you know, play. the mom called him and he quit the game and that's how you won 15 games? It's tough when you're not on a big team to play the deck with the target on its back. Uh, transition between Las Vegas jobs and Pro Magic, they both offered me a lot to think and I'm extremely good at both. Uh, which means I go 0 and 5, transitioning to a life where I won't have either and unsure what my future is. Welcome to life, Eric. Um, honestly, you're not a good magic player if you go 0 and 5 at any tournament. I'll just point blank say that. That's very difficult to do, especially against a field of 36 wedge like individuals. And yeah, MTG Arena is not for you, so we got to stop paying you. Because it's okay if we don't pay you and you say this stuff, but it's definitely not okay if we're paying you $300,000 for you to talk bad about us. Yes, the deck is not great. And yes, you know, it sucks playing against the deck turn one to Oko on the draw. 
but that's magic. Like, where have you been living in the last, you know, magical Christmas land, winning all those games and paper magic, right? I wonder why. Hmm, I wonder why all these pros suck at MTG Arena. It's so weird, right? They go 0-5 at MTG Arena when they go, like, 15-0 and in paper magic. Come on, guys. It's super obvious what's happening here. The pros are being shown that they're not actually good at magic, or at least not above average, right? 2-5 and five is not above average. And when you go 0-5, you're definitely not an average magic player at that point in time. Very sad. 